Big Boss, K-Po Talk Boxing. What's good with y'all? I ain't dropping no more videos after this until after the fight. I might, I might go live and watch the fight live, so get live commentary. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep it a stack. I'm only watching the L and Tens fight. I don't really care about Eastside people cruising and that rainbow boy he finna fight. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with him. That boy was barking and blowing kisses. And how he turned around, I was like, this motherfucker. Hey, this motherfucker a rainbow boy, man. This boy a cheapie. Talking about he's mad. What the hell? Esau like, man, I'm finna crush this boy, man. Esau people cool is one of my favorite fighters, too, because he no nonsense. He spark you and get you out of it. I like how he fight, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was talking about he's had people with coups since before he fought Tank. I was like, that band right there, man? Because I it was on the undercard of, uh, I think, Tank versus Santa Cruz. And I seen that man. He sparked that boy. I said, who is this? Relentless. Doom, 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 doom. Melted that boy. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> I said, yo. Hey, hey, buddy. <laughs> I like how he fight, man. Head off line, but he he don't care. He coming. He stepping. I like that. But anyway, there won't be no more videos today until the fight. The fight. The biggest fight of our century. The fight. The mega fight. Elvis Smith versus Terrence Crawford. This is my final prediction, right? My final breakdown of the fight. This is how I think each fighter is gonna fight each other. All right. You got El Spence. I'm gonna start in first. The unified WBC, WBA, IBF champion. Weighed in at 147 pounds on the dot. Was in phenomenal shape, right? Coming in. Motivated and determined. He's the underdog in this fight. I think what L gonna do, of course he's gonna use his number one punch, which is that jab. You know, um, I don't think me personally, I can say L gonna start fast, but I don't think he's gonna start fast. I think L gonna start at a moderate technical pace, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? He gonna kind of see what Bud doing, you know what I mean? He gonna work the jab. He gonna put the jab out there. He he may not be hitting Bud with it. He just gonna flick it out there, okay? Just to see how Bud react to it. See what he doing, right? So I think the first two rounds is gonna be like fill out rounds. He gonna see what Bud doing. I think he gonna start cutting it up in the third round. That's when I see Errol like using the jab, get inside, trying to keep Bud back on the ropes, stuff like that. I see Errol then starting to have some success on landing the jab and making those deposits to the body in the third round, right? And then I see Bud in the fourth round trying to cut it up. But I think Errol going to go a step above. My coaches always tell me when your opponent cut it up, you cut it up a step above, right? Now, if you start getting reckless and lose your technique, get back on your jab, you know what I mean? So you can reset, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, if you can keep your technique, level up. And I, that's what I see Errol doing. I see Errol being able to level up a step above Bud, you know what I mean? I just see a lot of body punching early. I see Errol jabbing, body punching, and keeping Bud's back on the ropes and using that jab. And I see... Buzz's eyes starting to swell up, right? I just think Bud not going to realize how fast L. Spence's hands is, right? I think he's anticipating. I think that's another thing. I think people think L. Spence got slow hands and slow feet. He's going to see that L. Spence got some decent speed. You know, on his hand speed. But I see L. Spence using the jab, going to the body, keeping Bud's back against the ropes, making Bud move, right? And I say around 
around six or seven, you're gonna see Buzz trying to, he gonna slow down, right? He gonna slow down. And those, those rides where you're gonna start seeing Bud st kind of stand in front of air. Not because he want to, because he don't have the legs. He don't have the, you know, so because of the body punching, right? So then I see Bud having some success in those rounds. Round six and seven, I see Bud having some success. But he's, he's gonna be standing in front of air at that point, right? Rounds eight, that's you're gonna see Arrow realize, okay, but tired. You're gonna start seeing Arrow cut it up more. You should just go into the body. You know what I mean? Placing his shots, but cutting it up, accelerating. But gonna get more tired. Round nine, same thing. And you're just gonna start seeing it be more one-sided. You're gonna start seeing Bud shell up more, right? Round 10, you're gonna see Bowman yelling at Bud. Saying, Bud, man, get your rhythm. Come on, man, let's go. So Bud gonna come out fighting on this. And that's when L. Spence gonna go to the body. Start chopping that tree down. I don't know if y'all did that drill. It's called chop that tree. L. Spence gonna start chopping them down. Chopping them down, chopping them down. But it ain't gonna be returning. He ain't gonna be doing that. He just gonna be shelled up in the corner. And that's when Bowman throw in the towel. L. Spence gonna stop Terrence Crawford. L. Spence gonna make Terrence Crawford pay for the million dollars he had to give him. Making him wait. All this stuff. Today's the day. Today is the day. Terrence Crawford. You know me, on my channel, we keep it a thousand. We give what each fighter got to do. Terrence Crawford got to stay off the ropes. He got to keep it in the center of the ring. Use his speed, lateral movement, and create angles to get his shots off and throw in between L. Spencer's shots. That's what he got to do. If he's able to do that, he can win this fight. We're just gonna keep it a thousand. But we all know what Bud gonna do. At some point in this fight, he gonna get mad and he gonna fight with this. This can only get you so far. This is what wins fights. And that's what's gonna be his downfall. I got L. Spence by stoppage. And like I said, I'm not even gonna come look for you, bud buddies. Cause truthfully, I don't give a fuck about neither one of y'all. You know what I mean? Like I told you in the last video, ain't no being cool ever, me and a bud buddy. You know? That's just what it is. Y'all talk too much, man. Y'all did all this talking and all this stuff. You know? I don't, I don't come from that environment where we do all this talk, especially on our internet. You know what I'm saying? We don't do that. So we'll never be cool. You know, I come from an area or an era where men are men. We won't do no talking, bro. That's what they won't talk on all that bullshit. We won't do none of that shit. You know, and that's what it is. You know, we won't, we won't do all that talking and oh man, yeah, y'all. Yeah. We won't do that, man. You know what I'm saying? So me and a bud buddy would never be cool. That's just real talk. You know, ain't no other way to slice of the dice. But. After the fight, you know where to find me. That's all I got to say. If I'm wrong, you know where to find me. I'll be on. Bye, Scott.